Here's today's question, which is worth 30 marks. First things first, we're given a table showing the rates and bands for income tax. In part A, we're told that Lorna's gross income is 50,000 euro a year, and we have to use these rates to work out her total income tax for the year. From the table, we can see that Lorna will pay an income tax of 20% on the first 35,000 she makes, and 40% on the rest. Since 20% is 0.2 as a decimal, we multiply 35,000 by 0.2, which gives us an answer of 7,000 euro. Taking this 35,000 away from her gross income of 50,000, we work out that she has 15,000 euro left, which is taxed at 40%. So multiplying 15,000 by 0.4, we get 6,000 euro. This gives us a total income tax of 13,000 euro for the year. In part B, we have to complete a graph showing the amount of income tax for every gross income up to 60,000 per year. The income tax up to 10,000 euro per year is already filled in for us, and since it's a linear function up to 35,000, we can just continue this line. Since a new band of income tax begins at 35,000 per year, the slope of our graph is going to change from this point on. We already worked out in the previous part that if Lorna makes 50,000 euro per year, her income tax will be 13,000 euro. So we know that our line is going to pass through this point. And since it's still linear with a different slope, we can just connect these two points and continue our line on. And there we go, that's our graph drawn. In part C, we're told that the graph doesn't take tax credits into account and that everybody is eligible for a tax credit of 3,000 euro. So we have to draw another graph taking tax credit into account on top of the other graph we've already drawn. To do this we can take every point on our graph and decrease the amount of income tax by 3000 euro. As a result we get a series of new points. Since our graph is still going to be linear we can just connect all these points together. So here's our new graph and notice how there's still a bend in the graph at 35,000 as the slope still changes at that point. And that's the end of this question. I hope you guys found this solution video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again.